Breast implant illness is a condition that potentially impacts tens of thousands of women who have breast implants. And these are a constellation of symptoms ranging from fatigue, to muscle aches, to joint pain, to rashes, to hair loss, and much, much more. And this is something that previously doctors, including myself, didn't believe it existed. But now new research is coming out and the stories of so many thousands of women are coming out showing us that breast implant illness is real. Some women do appear to get sick from their breast implants. So let me show you a patient who underwent this issue. This is a 42 year old woman who underwent breast augmentation upwards of 20 years ago by a different surgeon. At that time, a saline filled implant was placed under the muscle and she did pretty well up until the last five years. Over the past five years, she has had symptoms of autoimmune disease ranging from fatigue to joint pains, to brain fog, uh, to hair loss, to heart palpitations, and many, many more. And it wasn't until she started doing some of her own research on breast implant illness that she found that of the 40 common symptoms of breast implant illness, she had 35 of them. So she came to see me as a plastic surgeon to have her implants taken out. So the plan was to perform a capsulectomy, which is removal of all of the scar tissue surrounding the breast implant and removal of the breast implant itself. Now, because she has quite large breasts, as you can see, I also had to perform a breast lift in order to remove extra skin once those implants are removed. Let's take a peek at her markings in the operating room, and then I'll show you what we took off of her. All right, here are our markings. So we are going to remove the implants. You can see that they've actually migrated out a bit uh, when she lies down. Uh, we're gonna remove the scar tissue around them, and this is just the tentative skin down here uh, to be removed. She's gonna have scars that go around, down, and underneath. And I'll show you how she looks when we're all done. So as you can see, these are her implants above. They're saline filled implants. Nothing obviously wrong with them. No sign of any mold or anything like that. And then you can see her capsules, which is the scar tissue below. Her capsules are quite thick. And as you can see, I pretty much got rid of all of them. All right, this was the actual document that she gave to, to me to monitor just how her symptoms were doing. And these are all the symptoms that she had. If you look at the little orange check mark, that checks 35 out of 40 of all of these symptoms of breast implant illness. Three weeks after surgery, the ones in the, with the blue check marks were what she improved with, and those symptoms all went away literally within three weeks. All right, we're two months out of her surgery. Her implants have been removed, and she's still settling as time goes on. She does have scars from the lift that go around the areola. They go down and underneath her breast, and uh, those are going to continue to heal and settle with time. Now, her symptoms also from her BII are all gone, so not only does she look in uh, look better, but she also feels much better too, which is the most important thing. So here is a symptom sheet uh, that we looked at at her three-week visit, and what she has gotten improved now are all those with the little black check marks. So basically, pretty much all of her symptoms have gone away with removal of her breast implants. So this patient's story is technically not a unique one. I have seen many patients who've had very similar things happen to them, where they've gotten sick, Usually at least it's a couple years out from having breast implants. They get a full, full workup by their physician and there really are no major abnormal findings. And so they don't really have any other option. So they come to see me, we take their implants out and their symptoms seem to improve. There is so much to this that we don't know. We don't know who's at risk of getting breast implant illness. We don't know if certain implants may increase the risk of breast implant illness versus others. We do know that it does appear to occur with both saline and silicone implants. And in addition, we don't know what is the optimal actual operation. There are a lot of different surgeries that doctors are performing. Some, in my opinion, are a bit overly aggressive and some maybe not aggressive enough for breast implant illness. And there are also those doctors who believe it does not exist. Uh, they are looking at the research that has been done in the past that doesn't seem to support the diagnosis of breast implant illness, but how can you ignore the tens of thousands of women who have these issues and how many of them 
get better. So this is a very complex topic that is rapidly evolving and would encourage you, if you think you have breast implant illness, consult with a reputable board certified plastic surgeon, one who is sympathetic uh, to your issues. And if you're at all unsure of what to do, then get multiple opinions, okay? Because not one doctor is right.